So uh, we bought it from Texaco, and so it was basically a cattle ranch and an oil ranch. And so uh, there weren't any water systems, electrical systems, except for the pump, pump jacks. So all new fencing, everything, everything's new. Yeah. So from basically 2000, we started building, and um, probably 2005 we completed most everything, and then every year we added a, a new structure, a new barn, or, or, or pastures. So we have our, uh, our main barn, basically rehab, um, so horses off the track, or we, it's also our foaling barn. And we always raised, we never, we never bred horses or anything like that. And so eventually, you know, we turn horses out and they come back and we turn them out for a left shin, they come back with a right shin. And so the thought was to take total control of, of our care of our animals. And so that was really the impetus of, of the ranch was, okay, well, let's build a place it was a little bit more involved than just a, a horse facility. So we analyzed, um, we grow avocados, lemons, uh, some of our tenants grow celery, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, um, basically everything in a salad. <laughs> so we have an agricultural component, you know, for, for, that, for that part of the ranch, then the horses, um, we run cattle. So it's a pretty well diversified um, business model. We ran about 10 miles of 12 inch pipe. Uh, so we, we go through about three and a half million gallons of water a day uh, at a peak. We pump from Piru Creek, and then we also take water from Piru, uh, the town. So we send um, agricultural water down the canyon and we send domestic water up the canyon. <laughs> and so in different systems. Um, but uh, yeah, we've planted, uh, we've put in 600 acres of active agri irrigated agriculture since we've come here. It's so funny the similarities between the horses and agriculture. You know, we do we do a blood analysis for horses find they're sick. We do leaf analysis to see if our trees are sick. We analyze the water for minerals uh, that for for the horses, right? If they're if they're lacking some type of thing, we analyze our trees and our soil for lack of minerals, and we and we adapt everything. So it's it's really kind of interesting. So the, the entire ranch is six thousand acres, and then we dedicate about two hundred for the horses. It took us about a year and a half to buy the property, and I would say the last. Four months of that process, I came up here. I had left my job in San Diego as a general manager of a hotel and came up here to analyze this, either make it go away or say, hey, you know what, um, this is the opportunity that we can have. Because my dad, obviously, um, his interest was in the land and doing the horses, but he didn't really, wasn't too keenly uh, understanding the responsibilities that would come with, with uh, what we have. And so it was an opportunity to, to start a new business. It was yeah. fun.